What is up? Welcome, good afternoon, happy Sunday, everybody. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming. What we have right here is Star Wars Squadrons. Now, this one takes you back to the days of fighting, flying, aerial space battles. Super cool if you're into that. Similar to kind of like a driving game, but in space. And you're using, you know, ships and laser beams and all that fun stuff. What is up, man? It is totally a trap. <laughs> Tegrity's here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this. This is one of the free games we got. Uh, I personally, I played it a little bit to see how much into it I was going to be. I got pretty excited um, to do it. So I actually am terrible at the game. So why don't we, uh, let's just take a look at the story. There's some different options you can do and stuff here. And uh, here's a different, some of the different stuff you can do there as well. I played, I played a little bit. Uh, I looked at the platinum. A few platinum hunters are out there, 0.1%. So I imagine the platinum on this is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and restart this. So you guys can get that whole story. I had to get that opening in there for you. I know it was a little bit of loading screen at the beginning, but you had to see that Darth Vader. They hinted at the music. I'm kind of glad they didn't play it because uh, you know how that goes with this music. Anyway, here we go. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, okay, it doesn't let us do it. So, so either way, it doesn't, um, it makes you switch back and forth between this, as it says here. But I'm going to go with the Alliance side. Last time I picked this guy, because he's like, all right, all right, let's take a look and see what we can do, what else. Oops. Let's see, there's something else I could have done. Get me in a cock. So you have these different uh, voices you can choose. This but... ought to be fun. <laughs> I'm game if you are. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Keep staying the same age, right? <laughs> the older I get, Mr. McConaughey, well, you know, you know. Wait, is that everything I could have picked? I've never been oh, yeah. Ready. <laughs> you can change their names as well. Um, but anyhow, that's what we're working with. But you do have to start out as the other pilot, uh, which is fine. So here we go. We'll play this a little bit. We'll, we'll mess with it. We'll take a look at the tutorial and get it going. But enjoy this opening cutscene. Hmm. There's more things. Story mode. There's some other stuff you can turn on as well. Uh, voice activated or voice initiated, like instructions. If you're, if that helps you, that's in there. I think I turned that stuff off though because it was messing with me. destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy and paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed.
Captain James. Everything ready, Lieutenant Carroll. The squadron's on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. It will be done. It will be done. What's cool about this game is uh, if you... You know, a lot of modern games that get wrapped up in the open world and the constantly having to do this. You you know, you got the missions, you run around, you find the stuff, you talk to the people. This game just gets right to it. It brings you right into the action, the, the into the cockpit to do some cockfighting. Oh, I'm going to pull them up, all right. I'm going to pull up my cockpit. Beep, boop, beep. You know, just it just loads you right into it. It's fight after fight with cool story intermittent between each fights and stuff. I really like that. Lock onto my fighter. But uh, again, trying to fly these things is tough. And uh, if you <laughs> if you have motion sickness and stuff, definitely could be a difficult time for you. I know I get lost really easily in this. And uh, having to steer and throttle at the same time is is pretty tough. Um, the rest of the fleet is back from yeah, this kind of reminds me of had a Mass Effect vibe to it at the beginning with the with the graphics and the way the story was unfolding. Um, but just playing this game simply for the breadth, the breadth, breadth, <laughs> the atmosphere. You know what I mean? The uh, ambiance. All those fancy words. I'm gonna crash! Oh, snap! That was going a little too fast. Alright. I guess I'm not doing a good job following this guy. Yeah, if you enjoy Star Wars, you may enjoy playing through this game. Said it was supposed to take place during, um. You know, between some of the movies or whatnot. Look at that big destroyer, dude. So crazy. You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about it. There's something fighter. on the wing. It looks like someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Oh, there I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Tie pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. You hear that? Don't get cocky, kid. That's basically what he said. Probably copyrighted. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports out. Playing this on the PS5. I don't believe it's received any upgrades, but it looks pretty dang good on the uh, PlayStation 5. Understood. Handles handles quite well, also. Down below the Gazzotti, so its locks can engage. Throttle down. I only know how to throttle up. That's it. One direction. You gotta dock my cockpit. Never will I invert. Forget that, dude. For inverted controls, are flying is hard enough. 
Unless you want to invert the controls. Remember, Helix, we'll have support, but finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. Ooh. Warp speed, Captain. I'm giving it all she's got, man. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a pool man. Of course, there's the online element to this game as well, where you battle multiplayer online, rankings, all that good stuff, seasons, battles, unlocks, you know, you name it, galore. Not something that's not for me. I, I'd be to play through the single player solo mission or it'd be cool if they had a co-op version of this of the campaign I always like when games feature that probably the most isolated trading post in the sector it's only a haven for thieves and pirates oh. if the refugees are hiding here clearly they're not as innocent as they claim I, I tried to do my Wookiee but it might be loud <laughs> I'm not very good at it I hope we find Chewbacca Chewbacca, the Wookiee. Carrier's moving into position. Blockade is forming up. Yeah, look at that, man. I love space. It's so interesting. Makes you feel very insignificant. Interesting. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Yes. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. Hmm. There. Pilot, begin by inspecting that ship. Uh huh. Can't complete. We're loyal. I swear. Better be. No sign it's from Alderon. Keep looking. Whoa. Pilot, keep inspecting those this ships. This is where I get lost. Good. Check Good. 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 Not yet. A ship's trying to flee from a Whoa. simple inspection. We Get him. teach them some manners. Bring your weapon systems online. Yeah, let's shoot you. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, suck it. Yeah, you better. No refugees here, sir. Just smuggled weapons and a cargo of I'm trying to scan it. Let the fleet handle those smugglers. We should get to the station. Yes, we should. Oh, oh check that shit out. Customers are legitimate traitors. Are they? No right. I think this guy's full of it. The station's defenses just activated. What? Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. What turrets? For power to the lasers, I will. Main rudder, full steam, Captain. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm sure there's some really cool, you know, cutscene and storyline stuff if you play through this. I'm sure you get to see Darth Vader. They they hinted at him. So this is where I have trouble is trying to find all these targets. Which makes it harder for me, you know, uh, makes it less appealing of a game for me to want to play. Because you do have to fly around and stuff. Uh, in my younger years, I probably wouldn't have had such a problem with it, but... Whoa. More or less, I just kind of want to relax and play a chill game. Um, it doesn't require a lot of thinking, it doesn't require a lot of learning of new things. 
if I can push push the buttons, if I can mash buttons, like you know, I'm good to go. It would be cool if they made like an on rails shooter version of a game like this. Um, and that's one of the beauties of retro gaming, right? Is that it's simplicity of it, the fun and the simplicity. But uh, that's not to be said that you can't find that in modern games, and you can. And that's what we try to do here at Brothers Forge. We try to find the new games that you, uh, you know, all gamers will like, retro and modern alike. Whoa! I mean, there's a lot to like on this thing here, uh, especially if you grew up playing games like there was a game on Sega CD, a Star Wars game I used to play. Super hard. Whoa, what? You guys want some? And they must. Whoa. Look at that. Dog fight. Oh no, that's my guy. Oh no. Where is it? It says there's a guy behind me. Oh no, I'm gonna crash. Whoa. Where's my guy? Oh. Yeah, we'll get you. I used to like to play the Ace Combat games, the, uh, what was the other one? Enemy Shields? Okay. Okay, with the rectal, my cockpit in my rectum. In my docking station. All the, all the terms. Are you behind me? No. Let's go, bro. Rebel. I'm slamming Red Bulls. Oh, you want some of this? Oh. I used to do a lot more of the pilot sim games, but like I said, it, anymore it's stuck. Can't even figure out which direction I'm going. It is satisfying to blow those guys out of the water, though, or the air. <laughs> blow them out of the water. Captain! Where? Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Yes, station master. Yes. Oh, Lieutenant Colonel. It's like Doctor Girlfriend. Oh sh no! What? Yeah, there we go. Mash any button. Nice. Here we go. Catch up with that traitor. Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Whoa. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. The speed and agility. That's what I need. Slow down, though. Reminds me of Sewer Shark. Oh, no. I'm going to get crushed. <laughs> what just happened? Oh uh, no. Yep, this is pretty much how the sewer shark would go. <laughs> what just this happened? This mission is over. Oh wow. Okay, here we go. Well, I tried to turn to not get crushed and I, uh, I really got drilled there. Maybe I was going too fast. Oh, see, I got, I just, yeah, I went a little too psyched in there. <laughs> oh, fire. Can't fire. Can't, yeah. I'll do it. You tell me don't. Uh oh, was I dying? Prepare. Go. Oh uh -oh. no!
I always thought that was cool how that ship came out of warp speed. You kind of get a sense that it's it's kind of has this harmony where the red is the dark side and now we're back to the light side, like the yellow or the white. Kind of almost like a symphony. Let's take a look at my custom pilot. In my, what, is this the X-Wing? Which one is this one? Looking good, buddy. The other one's the TIE Fighter. Now, it would be cool if you did lightsaber battles and stuff in this, but I believe it is strictly air, airship combat or space space combat. Let's see what this distress call is all about. That call sounds desperate. Can anyone make out what he's saying? They're working on it. Okay, Echo Squadron on me. Oh, is that not Echo Leader? Where are you at? There we go. Admiral, any luck pinpointing that distress call? Yeah, if you guys ever played Star Fox back in the Super 64 era, it feels a lot like that, but, you know, obviously modernized. I've had trouble with those games, too. Uh, the early 3D polygons, man, killed me. I actually lost out on a lot of gaming at that time because I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. Star Fox is one of those games I've tried to play and, and just not. I just can't do it. This in is much more um, <laughs> much more approachable, in case you're wondering. Power management. The very power to engines. We're up against a star destroyer. We'll need maneuverability. Yeah, we will. Got it. Ooh, a star destroyer. Let's take it down. Laser power. Laser beams. Weapons look good. They'll look better when we're shooting down ties. Shield power. Oh no, this one. There was a game on PC I used to play a lot that was similar to this. I had a lot of fun with that one. Okay, so you can go balance. You can go shields, lasers, or maneuvering. Echo three, matching formation. Echo two, standing by. Echo five, standing by. Whoa, where am I headed? Okay, squadron. Anyone missile count. Missiles needs to stock up now. How? Head to the U wing for resupply. Okay. I don't even know how to use missiles. Okay, you just drive through there. That seems simple. Easy enough. All good. Good. Command has verified the distress call for the first time. All right, time to go. Echo Squadron, join the first wave and head to the rendezvous point. This had to happen while half the fleet's away. Prepping hyperdrive. So classic. I mean, if you're a fan of the game, or the movies, if you're a fan of gaming, if you enjoy cinematic excellence, you're here. You've got the right deal. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. With the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below engines. the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. It's risky. But flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. Hard and fast. Steady. Hold. Wait for it. Now, fire all boost thrusters. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Damn it, five. I'm out of booster. I'm out. Squadron, pull in and give them cover. I'm 
glad someone heard my distress call. I couldn't hold off those ties any longer. Who are you? A defector? If you'll take me, call me Linden. I'll explain later. Pilot, help me push these fighters back. You got it. Now go forward. Leave that quasar for now. Focus on ties. Then we better get rid of those ties. Fire missiles. Missiles, Captain. Yeah. Where are you at? Too far away? This one. Am I out of missiles? Where are you at? Behind me? Where's my missiles? Uh, where? I'm lost. Must be too late for me. Uh-oh. I do. Yeah, missiles. Uh-oh. I can't really get through. Oh, dang, I'm gonna block it. How are you supposed to get through that? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to defend those, not shoot them? <laughs> Probably what it was. <laughs> Alright. Oh, jeez. I see, and this is just a. I don't know who the hell is shooting at me. Oh, there we go. Help to have it, so okay. Here I am trying to kill my own my own players. I can't even find the enemy. Oh, here we go. Are you? Oh, hey, I didn't even have to do anything. Perfect. Echo Squadron, let's get in position and escort these transports. See if we can't play till we get like another where we land and have a dialogue scene or anything like that. Might be interesting. Fuck, I'm going too slow. Why is it so much further away from me? There's a quasar bearing down on the convoy. And filled with reinforcements. Take the ties down. Whoa, okay. I can reuse some missiles, huh? I don't have that happen. Damn, alright, once I figure out where I'm going, I can shoot stuff. Echo. What? Come on. You better be. Oh no, I'm getting blasted. I need more power, Captain, to my laser beams. Oh yeah, we get them all. Rebalance. Oh yeah, Let's get it. Yeah, it does. Oh, they're shooting at me. Let's get some of the missiles. All right, no missiles. Done. Yeah, there you go. Pretty chill just floating through space like this, I gotta be honest. Looking at the nebulas. Maybe we'll see Zoidberg. It's okay, our fleet's coming. Well not fast enough. Fleet 
is now at your location. Echo Squadron, keep the convoy safe while the flagship engages the vigilance. Leave it to us. Mm -hmm. okay, no. Wait. The Empire is sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. Uh -oh. We have to take that raider down. Get it. Pilot, with me. Better believe it, Sir Shields. Throttle down and blow the chat. Repair. Yeah. Get it, I got no missiles. I need missiles. Done. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yes, we're almost there. Dead. Yeah, balance. Well, who else is out there? You want some of this? Good work. Echo, let's get that convoy to a safer location. Let's. Head to the far side of the MC-80. Frigate's gone. Refugee convoy. We're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Yeah, we are. Wait. The Star Destroyer will be watching all possible vectors. They can still find you. Pilot, it's risky. But if we can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance, we might throw them off the convoy's trail. Let's do it. Wait, you two are attacking the Star Destroyer? Duh. Are you not? Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's targeting. Yeah, that's out of there. That's it. Go. Vigilance is targeting is down. All convoy vessels, prep for light speed jump. Echo Squadron, withdraw and handle any fighters near the convoy. You did it. Now both of you get clear. Pilot, whatever happens next. Oh no, I'm getting shot. So you have to switch to engine uh, engine mode to be able to boost. Hell yeah. Let's see if we get some cool cutscenes coming up right here. And I got beat up. Well, that was pretty intense. Apparently you can play this game in VR as well, which would probably make a huge difference. Got a trophy for that, probably for passing the first level or whatnot. Light, Leia. dark, freedom, or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, oh. the Empire lives on. Palpatine. As I speak, the bad, the bad guy. Are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you <laughs> can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Hey, practice remote. Let's continue the story. Let's see if we get a little bit more. And we are. I love it, man. I do enjoy some good Star Wars action. Vanguard Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. And I'm back, Gunny. It's pretty much Zoidberg. <laughs> Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Chris? We might make it before his speech ends. Kate, 
Neo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled. Which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk. Remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you. <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <laughs> Come on. I like your style. The temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Oh yeah. All right. So yeah, after after this bit, back out to the main menu and take a look at some of our options. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarel the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead. I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Hey, okay, so you... What the hell? Oh. It's point and click controls. I like that. Very similar to like PC, like I was talking about. Ah, you arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard Five. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Otto Baradai, Fleet Intelligence. A pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. Oh, hey! I'm Keo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. Hello, Grace Salia Vatara Sina. Hello. It's a pleasure. 
I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE Fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. All right, so now we'll exit briefing. I follow them. Let's go to the hangar. See if we get a little bit more story action. There's some more people we can talk to. And talk to all these different people. We go back in the briefing room. Frisk. This is probably what's over here, Gunny. Well, let's just talk to this guy. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a My blaster. Are ongoing. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hotshots and lone wolves need to hear it. <laughs> Get to your ship. Zerelda, it's kind of like Zelda. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X-Wing ready for you here. A real beauty if you need... Sorry. The droid's giving me the eye. Little Ross buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. Oh yeah, I think you can uh, do upgrades so and customization. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. Let's meet Frisk. Nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name. And only when she's mad. <laughs> I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions. You know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark course Oof. how was i supposed to know that painting was fake huh? or that the imperial governor was gonna show it off to admiral thrawn that's what's great about this place though they always got a berth for a good pilot death mark or not say you play sabak i'm trying to learn but no one around here ever wants to play me maybe we could uh Go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Uh -huh. Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. Looks like we might get a mini game within it. Nice. Earn some credits. Upgrade and your ship. Go. Play gambling with uh, your buddy Frisk there. Ah, the X Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good old rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. I think that's all we have. We can see what show loadout does. Okay, standard stuff there. Ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. Alright, let's get it on. My very own droid, how cool. Quiet, tin can. We got a pre check to do. Radar. Working like a dream. Loadout data. Looking good. Combat display? Check. Primary weapons. Charged up. Ready to take down ties. 
Throttle and boost. Good to go. Hull integrity. Never better. You're welcome. <laughs> All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Let's do it. Away we go. Stay close, Vanguard 5. You remember your mission parameters, Vanguard Squadron? Find the scouts, smash the jamming ships, and get back before the cantina closes. <laughs> I think Commander James skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Otto. We'll be careful. All right, so it's almost like we're going to be going into the next mission. We didn't really get a, another cutscene going into the mission, but we got all that before it. Let's, uh... Huh, maybe you can't exit the game from here. Oh, wait, here, yeah, you can. Okay, so here's a look at the options. In case you kind of forget what's going on, you can look at that real quick. Get some uh, instructions on how to fly your plane. <laughs> Why don't we do that real quick, too, while we're at it? So you can do this some of the... Uh, see, this was going to say. I thought I saw film green when we were in those uh, cutscenes, which was awesome because it made it look, you know, retro made it look like you'd expect it to look. So you're going to mess with the brightness. You've got all this different stuff here. Auto target next. Could get... So you can turn all those things on and off if you're if you're into this kind of stuff. It's here for you. You can change the controls to how you like it. I'm sure once you play the game enough, you'll realize, oh, I want to change this, I want to change that. And you'll be able to do it here, hopefully. All the things you need. And this is some of the stuff I was talking about, so you can narrate some of the stuff. It was, uh, wasn't was working for me, but if it's something you do, something you need, it's there for you. So you got all these different options. Always good to have options, they say. EA account. Let's go back to the main menu, take a look at some of that stuff like I was talking about. So you know you get uh, you get all the online, of course. You get multiplayer and training. You just do a quick match. You can do the story as we're doing here. You can customization story reward. Complete the story to unlock a new reward. So customization, ship skins, things like that. Uh, okay, so it just takes you there. You can get gear. Seems pretty awesome. It's showing you your challenges there. It can show you your career. I haven't done any. Show you your rank. I haven't done any online fighting, and nor do I intend on doing it. Uh, but there you go, guys. That's a look at Star Wars Squadrons. Available on the PlayStation 4. I have been playing on the PlayStation 5, but, uh, you know, works great. Here on the 5, I'm not sure about the 4. Uh, if you're looking for a fun Star Wars themed space battle game to play where you're flying around in space, shooting lasers, missiles, doing all sorts of crazy dogfighting, and, and who knows what else, you've got it right here in Star Wars Squadrons. Would I recommend it to you? If you you know, you know like some of the things we've been talking about throughout the video, I would say yes, go ahead. There, I haven't. It's very playable, like all the different ways you can play and customize your experience from difficulty level to controls to all the different things, you get so much within that. And um, that's not to be taken for granted. Sometimes you don't get any of those options in a game, and it, and it can be the difference between a game you could play and a game you probably won't play. So uh, that being said, like, like I said, if you like this kind of game, you like the story, you like Star Wars, it's a totally good game for you to play if you're looking for that. Otherwise, uh, you know, maybe pass on it. I wouldn't personally say, hey, Go out and grab it. It's a must-play game. But like, but like I said, if you're into some of the stuff we've been talking about throughout this video, you can't go wrong here with Star Wars Squadrons. Plus, if you like multiplayer and, and you know fighting it out for ranked battle and all that kind of stuff, it's there for you as well. Uh, if you're just if you're just tuning in, make sure to go back and check out all that other stuff. If you want to know what we we're talking about throughout the video, watch the full playthrough here of the first couple levels. But yeah, guys, about time to get on to the next one. It was cool. I enjoyed the time I spent here with the game. Uh, I don't think I'll be coming back to it necessarily, but that's not to be said down the road sometime. I might. 
Well, hopefully this was helpful to you to being under being able to understand, make a educated decision on whether or not you want to play by whatever this game. It's here for you, all the information. Thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We had a couple of our uh, you know buddies dropping in and out of the stream. We appreciate you guys coming by, as we always do. But yeah, you've been hanging out with Brothers Sports Gaming. Look forward to more, and we'll see you next time.